Friday. Welcome back to our five weekly favorites. First up is a fragrance favorite. I took Dead Cool Taunt with me to Solvang earlier this week on a trip I went on with my boyfriend for anniversary. And I brought this because it was small. It fit in my purse. And I wore it every day. And I just forget how good it is. I always have one of our dyad highs and lows in my purse too. So I wore that like at night. But they actually this is, probably mix well together. Did you mix them? Yeah. I mean, they do layer well together. Mm -hmm. This one, like this one is very musky too. But it has a little bit of a sweetness as well. It's just a really good everyday scent that's like a little bit fresh, a mm -hmm. little bit deep. It kind of has everything, but it's like a very wearable It's our scent. favorite of the Dead Cool. Yeah, and I'm almost out of it. So I want to get like the um, rollerball size when it's gone because I do really like it. It's not it. a rollerball. It's like a travel spray. Oh, yeah, the travel spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. This brush. I used it in our Get Ready With Us if you watched it. And that was like the first time I really used this brush. I bought it from Ulta a couple months ago. It's the Eco Tools, Fla well, it's called the Flawless Coverage Brush, but then on Ulta, it has a different name, which is really weird. Oh. Um, but I bought this for like $8 and just hadn't really found a purpose for it. But then my foundation brush has been like shedding, so I needed a new one. So I just pulled this out and I've been using it for foundation and it's so nice for $8. I mean, it looks a lot like the Merit one. Yeah, and the MAC brush, which yeah. I do want to buy the MAC brush that Britta has. Um, which I think I'm going to. I'm just waiting for a sale, which yeah, I know I'm sure it'll will be coming. Sale, yeah. Mac usually has a lot of sales during the holidays. Um, but it really is like really soft. It's dense. Um, it's angled, which is really nice. So even when I do get a new foundation brush, I think I'm going to use this for like contour. Yeah. And the only thing that feels cheap is the handle is hollow. It's aluminum, but there's no weight in it. So it feels like really weightless. But it's $8. Yeah, but the head is such good quality. So if you're looking for a cheap foundation buffy and blending brush like get this it's really good okay next up is the myers clean day multi-service everyday cleaner in the snowdrop scent i wait for this to come back every year and i try to stock up because it is the best myers fragrance they have like the other ones i feel like are very seasonal like i'm obsessed with fall leaves now though okay that one's really it good too that was so much like wet fall leaves like well, how that's do good they for, do it? i guess i should say like that's good for hand soap, hand soap yeah. but not like so much a cleaner and i ordered i ordered a method one from target that's coming Okay, I, can't, I guess I can't open it because um, it's not letting me. I'll just spray it but so that I can smell it freshly. But it's very, like, it's kind of like a light, clean, citrusy scent. It's just very fresh smelling. It, it yeah, I don't like love it. Britta loves I it. I love it. I, I ordered like, Method Holly Berry. Uh, that soap. one's okay from what mm -hmm. I remember. But yeah, I just like, I guess, how the other scents from Myers, like all their florals, all their holiday ones are very on the nose. Like they're very seasonal and very timely. And so I want something that I can use to clean every time of year. And I feel like this is it because it's just like kind of a citrusy, light fresh scent it almost smells it doesn't smell citrusy at all to me which is my complaint i feel like i'm weird I'm feeling citrus it's not it's not like orange yeah, or like smells powdery perfumey to me the all oh, like i don't think it's I powdery at all i only use citrus cleaning products it's a really weird thing about yeah me. it's not like super i feel like it's more so of like a fresh clean smell than mm -hmm. citrus but i'm getting like some citrus notes and it's just very fresh like i said like snowdrop i feel like is the perfect name because it is it kind of just reminds you of like a fresh fallen snow like i said fresh clean and i like how it's kind of like a light perfumey scent it's not like a one noted yeah thing. overall the myers like scents right now are my favorite yeah they're so they're good always so good and i always use this like in conjunction in my bathroom with like the clorox bleach spray so i'll go in with that and like really deep clean and then i'll do this on top to kind of like cover the bleach smell and it just like kind of it makes the bathroom smell really nice okay a moisturizer that i've been loving this week is the they kindly sent this to us it's a new launch it's a coco kind Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. It says rich moisturizer for deeply restored and supported skin. What does it say on the back? Um, not, not, not much. But it's a really unique texture. It's kind of like a... Well, if you've tried their other moisturizers, it's the same texture. Yeah, that's true. But like unique to the market. Like, yeah. I feel like it has this like... It looks like you were, you would imagine it being very thick and cushiony. Yeah, but kind of like it looks more like a gel cream. Yeah. But when it goes on, it actually feels like a deep moisturizer. It feels like a barrier cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, um, like it feels nourishing, moisturizing. Um, I have like worn it all this week when my skin has felt so dry 
and I wake up and my skin feels like much more velvety. Yeah. So I've just really been loving it. I like ran out of my nighttime moisturizer at the perfect time when they sent this. And it's in a glass component, which is nice. And they started doing direct deco instead of the label, which I love. Like I love the component. Yeah, it's it's a really nice jar. Yeah. Um so yeah, honestly, this is one of my favorite products from them so far. I know, I, I really, really like, like it too. I think it is more of kind of like a rescue moisturizer. Yeah. Like when your skin is dehydrated, mm -hmm. use this. I don't think you could use it every day, forever. I don't know, my skin's been going crazy, okay, maybe. crazy dry maybe right now. Maybe you could, I couldn't. Yeah. But I repurchased the Versed um, Moisture Soak Cream because I just love that so much. Yeah, I was so going much. to repurchase that and they sent this to us, so. Yeah. When this runs out, I might get the burst. But, but I, I did use this a couple times this week, like earlier in the week, um, before I started implementing the burst, and I did also really like yeah. it, and did feel like it made my skin velvety. So it's really good if you have dehydrated skin in the winter, yeah. which I know a lot of people do, without being like too heavy. Yeah. There's definitely been other like repair creams that I feel like, well, like my skin feels way too like, yeah, like it feels too oily. I don't like that. And last up is a snack favorite. The Simply Cheetos White Cheddar and Jalapeno Flavor. I think that's what they are. Yes. Um, Sorry, we, I ate them all. So yeah, I got we'll one insert the a photo. We did a, a reel and a TikTok um, reviewing the two Simply Chips that we found at Target. And we liked the Ruffles, but the Cheetos were like by far our favorite. You can watch the reel for like our full review. But they are so good. They're like the perfect mix of cheddar and jalapeno and just crunchy. Yeah, they're still like the original Cheetos crunchiness but just like a, I guess, more subdued flavor. Yeah. And they don't taste as bad for you. They're amazing. They're so, so good. good. We give them a nine. Yeah. Well, okay. I was gonna say that watch the video. Oh, well, that's okay. Still watch still the video watch it. for our first impressions. Yeah, but they're amazing. Okay, that's it guys. We hope you had a great week and we'll see you next week.